So let's dig into new kinds of conversation. I'm going to start with, uh, I kind of alluded to this already, but my, what, what do I mean by an outcome? So I don't mean 10% more for 5% less, 5% less, less. I mean things that are genuinely meaningful, meaningful to the most possible number of people in the organization, meaningful even to your, to your customers and sponsors and other stakeholders and so on. And uh, I start with my definition of done. Uh, so, you know, fun, fun little meme, my definition of done, someone's need was met at genoshift.com slash done. So someone's need was met. We helped somebody overcome a struggle and reach some happy ending in you know, a, little, a little story, a little job story, if you like. Um, the world changed for someone in some meaningful way. And this is actually a very good starting point. You know, we can start to ask questions like whose need, what need, by what means, how do we know that their need has been met, and so on. And that's a, that's a great way of you know, framing agile delivery. And it's also a good way of framing change as well, you know, understanding um, questions like those. So going from there to really why the, why the agenda shift sec second edition, and it's because everything, so much of this process has become so much clearer in the three or four years since the first edition, and, and it made writing the um, second edition a really big opportunity. And one of the clarifying things is this pattern. It's called the I do pattern. I do as a mnemonic for ideal obstacles outcomes. And it's a really, really handy pattern. Um, it started out as like the structure of you know workshops, maybe a day's worth of workshop, maybe you know a couple of hours work, worth of, of, of workshop. Um, ideal exploring what would what would great look like. What would it be like if this was working at its ideal best for us? Those kind of those kind of questions. Um, and then obstacles. Well, what gets in the way of that? Why is it that we don't have that now? And from those obstacles outcomes what would we like to have happen and then what happens though so, you know those kinds of questions um so that's where that started and it started as a structure to help organize you know a number of different exercises but this could be a leadership routine you know three or four quick questions this thing over in moments you can think of this as a coaching pattern if you're familiar with for the grow model for example or or toyota carter you can think of the grow model like a lot of coaching patterns is about getting someone to their next commitment the toyota carter pattern kind of steps a bit steps back from that a bit where here's where we want to get to and we're recognizing that there are going to be some obstacles along the way that we're going to have to experiment our way through and the i do pattern is about the strategic landscape in which all of that takes place a strategic landscape modeled in the language of obstacles and outcomes. It's um, not necessarily a completely linear thing. I mean, from any outcome or even any obstacle, you can go back to and find a new ideal. Why is that important? Why is that important? You know, you get to get towards, get towards a new kind of ideal. Um, you can go, you can ask what obstacle is in the way of an outcome. You know, it's, it can be a twisty fractal um, type landscape, um, but a really, easy pattern to remember, a really easy pattern to, uh, to learn and, and to, to practice. Um, and identifying this pattern and a couple of other patterns has made, it's done two things which almost sound contradictory and it's great that we've managed to pull it off. We've made a gender shift easier to explain and less prescriptive at the same time. And it was never meant to be prescriptive, but people always understood it as, you know, there's these exercises and you do them in this kind of order. And drawing out the pattern makes the patterns and the principles behind those patterns far more important than the individual exercises that we've developed and used over, over the years.